So I got myself a new Plaza bicycle. And this thing doesn't have a kickstand. And you wouldn't believe it how annoying it is a bicycle without a kickstand. I think the base plate for mounting the kickstand is broken. Um, I will figure out something. The bicycle is upside down and you're looking at the uh, base plate for the uh, kickstand and it got some damage. The hole is not round, the metal is broken there and it is uh, misformed. And annoyingly a uh, regular kickstand doesn't fit in this space anymore. It's, it's too small. Here's another one. Same problem. I don't know, maybe uh, Gazelle used their own uh, propriety kickstand for a while. I will try and uh, grind this piece away and then force it to fit. Well, that wasn't my uh, best grinding work ever. And I will probably have to uh, hammer that piece out of the way. Yeah, this still isn't fitting. Hopefully that is enough. I think that will work if the uh, hole lines up. The bolt hardly fits and this is a bit uh, misformed by my hammering. My finger got it. Now I need an uh, Allen wrench working upside down to tighten up this bolt. Is uh, Annoying and difficult. I'm hoping uh, this bolt will pull the uh, kickstand in place because there still isn't uh, enough room. And that was my Elm key. More likely the whole uh, base plate will uh, get pulled towards the kickstand. Yeah, it's almost in contact with the uh, aluminium. Alright, I'm going to try out my uh, setup. <laughs> it's no good for the brakes. Maybe that is why it uh, didn't have a kickstand. Let's see if I can flip this thing. The kickstand will probably be too high. No. That actually works. So now I can take some pictures for the uh, voiceover part. So what I got here is an old gazelle bicycle with solid brake linkage. Just like the bike that I got from my late uncle. Although this one looks to be an earlier ladies model. Now I am certainly no specialist at carbon dating bicycles, but looking at the components used, I would say late 70s, maybe early 80s. It still uses a cutter pin crank and it has this old style Sturmy Archer 3 speed shifter. It doesn't have a plastic front and rear light and it looks more or less the same as my uncle's bicycle. The rear hub however is a slightly different model because this one still has an oil point. But I think it should be usable and I believe it still works. But it's kind of hard to test without a cable and a broken shifter. It did however move into third gear the moment the cable broke. And I was able to find first gear by pulling on this uh, little chain. By the way I like the cable routing on this bicycle with these small pulleys. I find them stylish and they look rather old school. Besides using the rear wheel to fix up my uncle's bicycle, I'm planning to use a few other parts to fix up my Union bicycle that has been standing still for a while, without a saddle at the moment. 
and I'm not sure if I'm going to use this old leather Brooks saddle. Sure it looks nice and uh, period correct, but it's not sitting all that great. The leather cover is a bit sagging, just like the back of an old horse. I am however going to use this cloth chain guard. It's not that old and still looks good, and the bicycle originally probably had something dark green. And with these uh, gold stripings, it should look good on my Union bicycle. A lot better than that totally black model my uh, local buy guy had in the store. And I don't need to cut any new holes in this one. I just need to disassemble it without any damage. Let's flip the bicycle again. So I can start disassembling the uh, chain guard. Looks like I also need to turn the bicycle. Otherwise the camera can't see anything. Check out what uh, decided to show up. It's my old uh, mountain bike stand. So I guess now I can remove the uh, kickstand. I'm actually able to turn the bolt without any tools. Too bad it's a long one. Got it. I'll start by removing the crank arm. That way it uh, won't be in my way. Hopefully this uh, cutter pin will come out just as easy as on my Union bicycle. I say Union but it is actually Union in Dutch. And next I need to whack this with a hammer without damaging the uh, cloth chain guard. Got it. I guess that was uh, kind of useless because I still cannot take off the crank because of the gear. Uh, I should have taken off the, uh, the pedal. I reinstalled the cutter pin so I can hold on to the uh, other crank arm. And hopefully I can get this loose without too much of a fight. Yeah, it's coming loose. But she is tight. Years of rust. Gravity is a bitch. Finally, looks like I could have used an Allen key. I kind of like this uh, pedal. I think I'll use it on my uh, Union bicycle. And I don't mind the uh, Gazelle logo. They are everywhere. So I removed the crank arm on the left side and the cutter pin on the right is also gone again. It's uh, one item less that can uh, snag the uh, cloth chain guard. Although now I don't know how to proceed uh, the removal process without damaging this thing. With damage, no problem. I can destroy anything. Not sure how good this uh, chain guard still is. Some of the uh, stitching has already gone. At the rear here, there's a bit of damage. Um, I was expecting a, a, a pin or a wire that I could uh, pull out uh, from underneath the chain guard. But this looks uh, like a more modern design. As a kid I had a uh, bicycle with a chain guard like this and this uh, trim piece here would uh, fall off now and then. So I think this uh, should uh, come off rather easy. Although, now I'm not sure. I'm not even sure if it needs to come off.
if I hit it any uh, harder, it will uh, get uh, misformed. So I need to come up with a uh, better strategy on how to remove this thing. So I've been sitting here on my uh, stool, poking with a screwdriver at this thing. And this might come out. Maybe that uh, zipper that I was expecting is hiding underneath. Oh yeah, there it goes. I don't see the zipper that I was uh, expecting, but this is definitely progress. split here and on the back here there are some uh, uh, I don't know what to call those uh, buttons push buttons so this is uh, the other side of the chain guard and these are the uh, buttons I was talking about and they feel stuck I have to be careful to get these loose Otherwise, I will definitely destroy them. Some lubrication. And then I should probably go for a tea. I'm not going to rush this. I don't feel confident getting these uh, buttons undone. So let's continue with the... Uh, getting this loose maybe that'll give me uh, access to the other side and that might help yeah, the stitching comes undone I think I might be fighting a losing Battle here. I don't feel like stitching this rubber again. That's one side. Now the other. Here at the uh, rear, <laughs> there's another one of those darn buttons, but <laughs> I guess this one was already loose. Well, I guess now we know that the uh, chain isn't rusty, it's just terribly greasy. But that's better than rust. Not that I'm going to reuse this chain. It's also pretty loose. So I've been prying at the upper button with my pocket knife and I got it loose and there's a third piece of fabric here adding to the uh, overall confusion of this uh, old school chain guard. Now let's see if I can also loosen up the lower button. There it is. Success. Nothing destroyed. So I just had a look at the uh, recording. And this trim piece did move when I hit it with a hammer. So you guys tell me when it moved, right? <laughs> well, trim piece wins from the wood. Sometimes hitting stuff with a hammer isn't the best solution a lot of time it is now let's uh, see if I can work this thing loose with my hands it's 
spokes are in my way. So the bicycle is back on its wheels. I want to try and get this twin piece removed without uh, poking a hole in the uh, fabric. Bicycle is rolling into the direction of the tripod. Check this out. The color underneath the trim piece, it seems to be green. It seems to be moving around this bend. And it should be close to coming out. But it's still stuck. I have no idea why this thing is so stuck. Somehow it is holding on. The bike I had as a kid, it came undone. Every second turn I took with a bicycle. I am able to slide it just a little bit. Ah! <laughs> a win! Finally, but <laughs> totally green. To be honest, I still don't know if I if this piece had to come off. Now I don't know what's the best way to proceed from here, but I'm planning to remove this uh, bolt, and then maybe I can uh, uh, move the uh, chain guard to the side and hopefully remove the crank. But first I will remove the uh, chain, so I no longer have to worry about that uh, greasy thing. Darn, I did get some grease on my index finger and I was trying to avoid that. And of course, it gets stuck. Yes, I got it. I guess there is no easy way to avoid a uh, greasy chain. There's some sort of plate that probably acts as a washer. <sighs> got it. Something fell, and now I should be able to get this crank complete with gear out of there. Got it. So here's a look at the uh, progress so far, and that uh, took me most of the uh, afternoon. I guess things go slow when you're trying to make a uh, video in a uh, foreign language. Uh, next. I believe this frame should come apart, although maybe it's a good idea to uh, reinsert the uh, fastener and uh, try and take off the cloth now that the uh, trim piece is gone. With everything loosened up, I think I should be able to, uh, yeah, it moved. Looks like there's a bit of damage there. That's a shame. 
Well, I knew that uh, it wasn't perfect. After all, it's not new. I think the uh, front part of the chain guard and the rear part are joined over here. And I expect this uh, to be some sort of uh, sliding coupling. Uh, I don't see how this uh, is joined together. So I'm going to loosen up the front and uh, see if I can slide it out. Yeah, it is sliding. <laughs> there it is. First part uninstalled. Next, I think I should be able to pull this off. Yeah, my fingers are not strong enough. Next, I'm going to loosen up this bolt, and then this rear section should be free. I think. Perhaps I should uh, remove it together with the wheel. I will study this for a while. Now I still don't have an idea what's the best way of doing this. So I guess I will uh, wing it. should remove those uh, chain tensioners. So I uh, removed both of the uh, chain tensioners and the, uh, the brake linkage and then I moved the uh, wheel to the uh, front of the frame as far as it will go and that gave me a little bit of space over here. But now I just saw a metal piece. Ah, there it is. No idea. I guess that's a uh, discovery. I guess that was uh, holding the uh, fabric in place. Yeah, that must be it. Okay. I think now I am able to take this out. <laughs> That's my second piece of the uh, of the frame. And next it should be a cakewalk to remove the wheel. But before I uh, take out the wheel, let's see if I can remove this uh, cloth. Because that was the uh, main objective of today. <laughs> I think uh, reinstalling this on my uh, Union bicycle or Union will be a bitch or a pain in the ass or whatever you want to call it. It's going to be difficult with the uh, chain guard out of the way. It should be easy to take out the wheel because uh, almost everything is gone already. Except for the wheel archers that are in the way. And they are bolted to the frame over here instead of uh, onto the axle. So. <laughs> and there is our wheel. The victory of today. Now I need to reinstall it into uh, my uncle's old uh, gazelle bicycle. But first I need to reinstall this cloth chain guard onto my uh, Union bicycle. Because at the moment I'm using that uh, gazelle bicycle almost daily. Uh, I guess that uh, is going to be a very long video that uh, <laughs> nobody uh, We'll ever watch. 
I guess it should be done uh, somewhere before the summer is over. Alright, to be continued. And I will continue scrapping this bicycle. I just uh, got one quick question now that I have your attention. How do I take apart this uh, bottom bracket? I move the camera closer so you can have a proper look. I never saw this model before. Um, this whole outer part is turning with the uh, axle and something similar is happening on the other side. There is a locking nut, there's some thread there. So I assume this is where I start. But yeah, how do I grab it? I guess I could uh, chop it up with the angle grinder reinstall the crank and uh, put it in the voice. Any uh, better ideas?